basically introduction to the six hcc hc11 loops and instruction delays so in the part one what we did it we actually ran a software called microload and then made this device to blink some led light okay that's all about it and then in the second part what we had to do is we had to make a delay based on the instruction given so this is using free sim 11 is a free simulator that offers a necessary multifunctionality we need it has an in it has an internal assembler however it is not advised as it's not advanced as mini id so we will use mini id when needed before using system for the first time we need to make few minor configuration changes launch it and once it open you will see the following window so i'm going to go ahead and launch prism 11 i already installed it so this is the current version <clears throat> okay and then i'm going to follow the guide uh, Okay, here we go. So I launched it at it appears exactly like this, and then I go to file option simulator and then reset to ch eleven after loading. Uh, file option simulator, and I made this one already. Yeah, so it's already in the correct format for me. And the next one is um that's okay file option memory configuration menu and then uh, ex exit file, file option simulator okay. file option simulator and okay that's the one we did before let me see the next one and press okay go to file option memory configuration file options memory configurations and uh, close okay yes and then exit that's it and this one you have to select it to 68 hc 11 e9 and that's what it says here okay and it's already set like that for me so it restart like this <clears throat> okay and press okay then 3sm11 should restart unfortunately this tool does not remember our window layout once we exit so you will often have to move windows to your liking since this tool was created before windows 7 10 visual looks some of the windows are too narrow and they are not easy visible as a consequence of this they cannot easily be moved to see the titles and move them just expand the window horizontally the window on the top of the commands window is one expand this window see the title cpu register and now you can now you can move it so basically this one you know like initially it was like this if it like this i cannot move so to make it move i have to move like this and then move that's what it's saying for quick for uh, for a quick exit we will simulate some of this sample code from part A, Prism 11, go to file, open menu, you will have change file type machine code is nine. Okay. So file open menu and then here the file type uh, you machine code is 19. Mm, and go to the file don't sample s19 so this is provided in my course website so i'll go there and cancel for now i'm gonna go to course website and download the things necessary okay. <clears throat> So here is the assignment I'm dealing with. I have to download the things necessary. So this is the one necessary, and also 
this one also necessary later so i'm gonna download both of them and once i download that it's gonna be there i'm gonna move it to practice over here and this one also over here, over here okay now we want to open this one so i go to file open and then uh, the format should be machine code s19 and i go to the folder i downloaded it's in the desktop practice s19 open and this one appears <coughs> okay um select it and press open disassembler window should appear showing the interpreted opcode mnemonics and operands go to the line dollar d025 so it's if you go down it should be there okay uh, select it with the mouse and then right click on it and select set breakpoint okay i right click on it set breakpoint Mm, I'm gonna close this. Okay. Um. Okay. Set breakpoint, or simply just press F5. This will add breakpoint, which will, which is where the simulator will pause. Go to the view, number of clock cycles. So I go to the view and click number of clock cycle. <coughs> um. A new window should appear showing the value of true. If it's not true, you did not change the setting properly. As indicated earlier, go back to and do it again. The value of true here indicates that see that the CPU you require two clock cycle to fetch the program starting address of D0 D triple zero from the memory address. Uh FFFE and uh, two FFFF. FFFE contains D0 and FFF contains 00. zero. This is how CPU knows where to go when it is reset. Now go and execute and run menu or press F9. So I go to the execute and run this one. You can see the cycle is increasing and there are some changes happening in the X and the PC as well. So let's read this one and uh, run f9 we will start the simulation you will see disassembly lines changing green to show the current instruction the simulator is running notice the cycle count is increasing when it goes to d25 d 20 it will stop so it's going to stop when it reached it so it reached uh, it reached d025 and stop right there and it took nine hundred and ninety six thousand nine or size nine or five clock cycles to uh, go until this far okay <clears throat> um stop the code is nested loop which is simply delay cpu an arbitrary number of clock cycles in between toggling the led on and off now for this portion of the laboratory you have to modify some code which is re which will repeatedly repeatedly flash an led on and off for the arbitrary number of cycles the number of cycles based on sid uh, we have used the principle from sample program to do this if you look at the code we will use we will see similar to this so this is the loop <coughs> uh, ida initially 40 this is in hexadecimal and this is 64 in decimal if you convert this hexadecimal to decimal that's 64 and this dollar sign doesn't mean anything like this is just to fill up the space so it requires two cycles to run this and then nope no operation that takes two cycles and then deca decrement that takes two cycle and be any loop uh, loop back if a is ACCA is not zero three cycles. This is a loop, and um, these are the cycle it's gonna take for each of these. Initially, ACCA is set to forty, uh, and 
40 this means immediately value of 40 which is hexadecimal or 64 decimal <coughs> okay 64 decimal this takes two cycles to run our next instruction no operation it wasn't in the code part a but it doesn't matter as it affects nothing but it does take two cycles to run next we decrement subtract one from acca and store it back to acca this takes two cycles as we run lastly we branch label loop which is where the no is only if the zero flag is not set remember the zero flags is set whenever the al juice in the 68 hc level results in a zero so the deca instruction will set to the zero flag where it's set to acca to zero this instruction take three cycle regardless of the outcome since acca is initially 64 and when we branch only when ACC is not zero, the loop this loop will repeat 64 times. Therefore, the number of cycle consumed is 2 plus 64. 2 is the initial cycle, as you can see that is mentioned over um, over here. Okay, it uh, initially no matter what is gonna take two cycle to start the operation. And I'm gonna use calculator. 64 times 7 is 448 and then initial 2 is 2 so that's going to 450 if for example the clock cpu was too mad each cycle will be 500 nanosecond uh, 1 over 2 megahertz is 500 nanosecond so therefore this code generates exactly 225 microsecond delay only 6 bytes of code there are some limitations however as the ACCA is only 8 bits and can never exit 255 okay with this in mind largest number of cycle could ever consume is 2 plus 2 555 2 plus 2 plus 3 which is 1787 okay so this is the maximum possibility there because uh, this number can be go changed up to uh, changed up to 255 currently it's 40 right so 255 mean instead of dollar sign you remove that and 255 and if you run this card uh, you're gonna see all of these going up to 255 you can see like 255 times 7 let me calculate that 255 times 7 is 1785 but initially 2 bits it takes to run so that end up being 1787 not very large number we could always add more knob interaction but that would result in larger code an alternative is to use index register okay so since this is like uh, this one can be used for smaller numbers like up to if you want a number between thousands if you want to run like um smaller cycles like 250 time to if you want to repeat a loop for 255 times this one works because this one create like 1787 cycle or if you want to if you want to create cycle that is inside of this then this one works but if you want to create larger numbers uh, you have to use index register because there are more bits you get like more things you can put in uh, which is 16 bits so this one is 8 bits and this one is 60 have can hold larger values up to 6 the uh, 65535 which could generate more than 500k cycle okay that's great delays depending on the number of end knobs and inside the loop we could also use the other interest to multiply for example uh, which consume more time but be sure the first result doesn't affect the controller of the loop go to the course website extract your assignment 5 file from save folder okay i'm gonna go to the 
say folder i just download and extract the file and here i, I just need my student id i'm gonna copy this and then i'm gonna paste it over here so i don't confuse with the other guys okay now it's over here mm -hmm. okay now what is the next thing okay and uh, file open file type this one should be changed change to that so i'm gonna go to file open and then i'm gonna go to drag this already there but i have to change this one into prism <laughs> this one so now the file up here and i want to open the b part open right here and this is a requirement for my assignment okay um a and uh first come line indicates how many cycles you need to delay it by all of the instruction uh, instruction delay must be accounted for the for including the one that toggle led and jump back off from the back back to the beginning <coughs> okay each instruction include the comment detailing how many cycle it requires okay so this one is a dark center so you have to make sure we follow this all of the instruction delay must be accounted for including the one that toggle the led and jump back to the beginning okay let's look at the code make sure we are not messing up so okay this is the one we have and uh, here we have jump so we have to make sure we include this that's what it's saying <coughs> jump back each interesting include a common detail in how many cycles it requires to run uh, later in the code you will see ldx at here you change the at to the calculated value you need you may also need to add some extra delay cycle we can use any number of instruction which can waste time two in particular do nothing a uh, nope uh, beer branch never branch never the uh, nope consumes two cycles so if you want to delay like let's say uh, i ended up getting 114,557 i need to delay two more seconds then I can use this uh, knob to delay two seconds more. Or if I end up getting getting a uh, hundred and fifty-six cycles, I have to delay three more second, three more cycles. Then I can use the branch never in branch never concept branch never uh, br never requires operand address, so we can use star which is current location in the memory of the current instruction this the ideal branches need locations uh, that are close to the current instruction you may need combination of this to achieve your goal there's no interaction with the delay one cycle so if that is the situation you find yourself then you will need to lower your initial index and add more instruction later compensate it so there's no delay for one so you had to just you have the chance to play around with whatever it's given so this one four two four three three and there's a loop and then um this jump and these are the like optional no per branch never in based on your requirement if you put the semicolon sign right here it's not gonna work so you have to remove both of them or one of them based on your requirement <coughs> okay so now compensate file assemble i go to file click this one file and then assemble and i'm seeing an error the error is saying that octal digit zero seven x it's ex expected at the point index at okay okay so last file and 
otherwise windows will appear um memory value of symbol as well as sequence instruction address and missing code bytes and mnemonic operands you should place breakpoint on the first line so we can see how many cycles it will take to run until the loop back to the same address uh, check the number of cycle at the point and record it. now press f9 to start simulation and when it stops it will be on the same line the difference between the current number of cycle and the one recorded earlier is the cycle count between toggling the led we press f9 the difference it between the new value and the previous one should be the same our code is therefore consistent in its operation microcontrollers are very reliable in their timing running this code will never take any less or more time uh, it will always be the same depending on the application timing can be very important note that the simulation appear run faster if lst in this selected one okay <coughs> So this is the only thing that we have to figure out what number we are put in. So for example, I'm just going to put some random number to see what's happening. Okay. So I'm going to go okay, currently number of clock cycle zero, and I'm going to execute. Let's reset this one first, and execute run. And now you can see it's just keep it's going to keep on running until we. If you don't set a breakpoint, it's gonna it's not gonna finish because there's a loop going on. So it's not gonna finish. But if you focus your so it's gonna keep on running. So if you're not to stop, if you need to stop somewhere, we need to put a set breakpoint. But uh, here I see somewhere it's mentioned that we have to set a breakpoint at the initial one so it will count everything including the jump so let's uh, look at that part here okay um okay so if the situation find yourself in index okay Okay, so you should place a breakpoint on the first line D0 so we can how we can say how many cycles it will take to run until the loop back to the same address. So that's what they want to see. Okay, so I put a set breakpoint at this location D00. You can do it here or you can do it here. Here also works. So you you can do either here or here both of them are same thing I click this one set breakpoint and now I'm gonna run this again execute reset run so it's only take 420 cycles to complete okay so to see it clearly what's happening I can put a bigger number here like let's put 670 and uh, they have mentioned that this index could you can put here up to up to this big number here this one 65535 any value between this it will work so i'm going larger and larger to see what happens okay this one takes 4036 4, but i have to achieve this one 114500 so i mean I can put a very large number like six. Maximum I can put is sixty-five thousand. I'm gonna just put sixty-four thousand here and run this one. So as I can see here, this one runs, this one runs, this one runs, this one runs, and these two are the one looping. Okay, this d00b and d00c this one is continuously looping until it reaches the point where uh, this number of cycles finished 64000 cycles uh, 64000 loops is finished so it's going to keep on running so instead of wasting the instead of waiting until that now we can see what's happening right so 
this one takes four cycle this one takes two cycle initially always two uh, initially to start the instruction initially it takes two and uh, two plus four six six plus two twelve twelve plus four sixteen sixteen plus three is sixteen plus three is nineteen so nineteen is gone right there and then also we have to remember there's a there's one at three here jump so nineteen plus three that is Uh, 19 plus 3 that is 21 so if i subtract 21 from this 114559 i'm going to grab a calculator okay i put this big number that is 114559 one one four five five nine and then i'm subtracting 21 from this i get this value one one four five thirty eight so you can see this one loops when it run it loops this three uh, this three and three so i mean six every time it loops through it's gonna go six six values the number of loops is whatever the number you put right here so i currently put sixty four thousand so it's it's gonna loop until 64,000 times. So, if I want to change it to the number I wanted here, I wanted this much number only. So, I have to see how many times it, uh, if I run six cycle, it will give us gives the number. So, I have to divide this number by six, and then it gives this number. So, I put this number like 19089. Okay, 19089. 089 for this number so it's gonna loop until that time so i'm gonna reset and run this again Okay, so there's something missing. I needed one one four five five nine. Okay, but I got one one five five zero. Let's see where's the problem. Okay, so initially it ran for two six, then for twelve twelve plus three fifteen. Fifteen plus three eighteen. Okay. So how many I need? I need nine of them. So if I just increase one cycle, six of them is take, taken care of. So if I put nine zero here, then I am adding six more to this, uh, six more to whatever the value I got. So it's gonna come one one four five five six, but I need three more to achieve one one four five five nine. So I'm gonna open this one branch never in. That one is three cycle, require delayed. That takes three cycles. So I'm gonna remove this semicolon so it's gonna add up three so totally I will end up with the one I wanted so I'm gonna just execute reset and then run again Okay, now I am getting exactly one one four five five nine. That's what I want this for there. Uh, that's what I want for this part B. The part B is basically we just want to create the delay that they're asking for. Yeah, they ask for the how many delay in my part. And for me specifically, they require one one four five five nine, and I achieve this result one one four five five nine. And that's basically it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.